Today is June 15th, 2023, and this is your daily Half-Life 3 update. There is no news about Half-Life 3. So I did just get back from seeing The Flash. Uh, and I liked it, you know, I thought it was a good movie. It's honestly top three of the DCEU. Uh, you know, like the best DCEU movies so far have been, what, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League and... Uh, the Suicide Squad, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, of course. Uh, this, and then Man of Steel. You know, like, that's... Maybe put the first Shazam, and that's, like, a, the top five of the DCEU. But, yeah. I, I thought it was a good movie. Uh, I'm very curious as to where DC goes after this, now that James Gunn is taking over. we still got two... DCEU films left, uh, Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2. Now, his comments suggest that, you know, those movies are going to kind of be part of the, the new DCU that James Gunn is making. So, like, it, you would assume that this means Jason Momoa is going to be continuing on as Aquaman, past Aquaman 2. Like, that, that that would be the logical, based on what his comments are. And as well as the kid who's playing Blue Beetle, I don't, uh, I'm not going to pronounce the name. I, I know, but he, that he would be continuing on as Blue Beetle as well. I've, I've heard good things about Blue Beetle. But I've heard not so good things about Aquaman too. Uh, but I feel like people, for the most part, like Jason Momoa as that character. So... In my opinion, it does seem like Momo is going to be continuing on uh, as as Aquaman. Now, of course, we know Henry Cavill and Michael Keaton won't be continuing on. Well, Henry Cavill, Michael Keaton, and Ben Affleck won't be continuing on as their roles. So they're not going to be playing Superman, and then the other two aren't going to be playing Batman. So we're going to get another actor for Batman. And a new actor for Superman as well. Uh, that, that, that leaves people like Wonder Woman and, and Shazam kind of like in the wind. Maybe they'll bring back Zachary Levi. Uh, you know, the ending of Shazam kind of set that up as a possibility since... I guess, spoiler for Shazam 2. No one saw that movie. No one cared. But... Suicide, uh, not suicide, Peacemaker characters do show up at the end of Shazam 2, and we know that James Gunn is, of course, going to bring those Peacemaker characters back in his in his move, in his universe as well. I mean, we already got confirmation that uh, Viola Davis is going to be continuing as Amanda Waller, which just, which, you know, just completely makes sense, honestly. I would also hope that this new girl, uh, Sasha Kali, I don't know how to pronounce that last name, but I would hope that she returns as Supergirl. Now, they are going to make a Supergirl movie. I would hope that she returns as Supergirl, I, and I, I, I really liked her in this movie in that role, so hopefully she returns as well. Now, there's someone else in this movie that I hope returns. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is, just to spoil it, and if you really care, honestly, stop watching the video. But I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, say it for the people. Who, I'm gonna cryptically say it for the people who have seen the Flash, who I want to continue on. Someone in this movie uh, reprises their role that they've only played once before, and. I want that person to continue on as that role. Uh, it's not anything that I honestly expected I would say. But so if you know who I'm talking... If you've seen the movie, I feel like you know who I'm talking about. Or maybe you think you know who I'm talking about. Like, There's no way he would say that because that's a ludicrous opinion. But yeah. We still don't know about Ezra Miller, too. I honestly... I honestly feel like they might 
keep Ezra Miller around. I feel like they got two options with Ezra Miller right now. Uh, they could just recast the character. You know, say that's the same Barry Allen, but just recast. I mean, they recast Barry Allen's father, and he didn't. I was thinking, there's a Tron Livingston as well, so he's great, so uh, it doesn't really bother me. I think they could just recast Barry Allen, replace Ezra Miller, or the option too is just not have Barry Allen around, you know. If, if you need a flash, just use Wally West, and maybe after a, a couple years, you know, people would be more accepting of Ezra Miller returning as the flash, you know, once they've sorted out their life and made amends and whatnot, then maybe. Ezra Miller would be okay to return to this role, and we would be accepting. Uh, 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 we, we would be more accepting of that. I think option two is really what you would want to do, because uh, Ezra Miller was good in this movie. You know, this, you know, every, everything that happened, put aside, Ezra Miller was pretty good in this movie. You know, I, I, so yeah, I don't know. I'm very curious to see what where it goes from here. Uh, but you know, I have faith in James Gunn. Uh, he's done a lot of good stuff there. You know, the Guardians trilogy. Uh, I liked Peacemaker. I liked the Suicide Squad. Uh, see. So yeah. And that has been your daily Half-Life 3 update for June 15th, 2023.